New extension. This one also has a free component that enables you to perform three searches per day, after which it transitions to a paid version. Let's take a look at what this extension is made up of. So similar to that previous one, the one before, let's call it Animal Coloring Book for Kids. Regarding the previous one, it provides us with a set of data that are absolutely necessary. They must be absolutely necessary in order to streamline our work. Facilitate us. If you have been following me for a while, you know that it is not the exact word, but it should help us speed up our process, not make it easier. One of the issues that quickly becomes evident with this extension and the reason why I ceased recommending it is the lack of speed. What is the definition of slowness? Meanwhile, we are running on a machine that is an i7 with almost 30 gigs of RAM. And therefore, I assure you that most of your PCs probably do not have the speed of this PC that I use for other things, but said that probably the exchange of data that occurs between what you type and the interface of SPT, of self-published titans, is important. That is, the spring of data that is exchanged is really, really important. This is among the primary aspects to take into account when making decisions for the first time. As you can see, when it starts, it gives us the same parameters as before, the same instructions. The question, the opportunity, the total number of results, how many of these results have the keyword typed in the title, and how many are self-published. The maximum bestseller rank, the minimum and the average, the maximum number of reviews, the average number of reviews, and if there are books with zero reviews, then launched at a low price with zero reviews, the maximum average price is high. Up until now, if there was no slowness issue, it could serve as a valid indication because it enables us to conduct an initial screening. For instance, if you happen to be one of my students, it assists us in compiling our spreadsheet, which is subsequently utilized for analyzing the different keywords. Nevertheless, the most crucial aspect at present is that the paid version offers an additional feature. When we click on the book, we are able to view one, perhaps this particular one, that possesses a low BSR. Consequently, we may be able to perform a rather comprehensive analysis. If it functions properly, it ought to provide us with a graph similar to the Leumton graph. Here he is appearing, you see him below. And it is something that if it works, guys, it is important, particularly for those who do not want to face a high expense at the beginning, like Ilium 10 or KD Rocket could be, that they consider using this solution. Although it is not the same tool, it is a tool that gives us a lot of information. We can see here at the top that we have the time frame. We can choose 24 hours, 7 days, 30 days, 90 days, 6 months, 1 year, and all time. Why is this important? Because it allows us to determine if the book we are targeting is a seasonal book or if it is a book that can be sold all year round. Or even better, if it is a book that has a peak in sales. For example, at Christmas, because it is a Christmas book and then it doesn't sell anything during the year or it enables us to take a glimpse at the domain of reviews. For the purpose of truth, it is the only tool currently carrying out this particular task. However, like all other tools, it is a study that uses the proprietary algorithm of the tool, not Amazon's. To assess its validity and accuracy, we must evaluate the extent to which it is valid and correct. We have the option to remove or add various choices on the chart. For instance, if we do not want to see the price, we can eliminate the price charts and only keep the BSR or the reviews. Similarly, if we analyze a one-year time frame, which is not possible because this book was published on November 6th, we can analyze it for 90 days to obtain a clear understanding. By adjusting these factors, we can ensure that our analysis is based on reliable information and gain a comprehensive understanding of the data. We can observe that this book has consistently maintained a relatively high bestsellers rank, BSR, until November 20th. We entered the peak period of December, as evident from November 21st, when the BSR experienced a significant drop of 38. Subsequently, it increased by 26 and eventually stabilized below 5,000, maintaining this position until the present. Therefore, it is safe to conclude that this book is selling exceptionally well.
Also consider that we are currently in the moment when individuals are utilizing the gift vouchers they received, but it is a book that will likely have a lengthy lifespan in relation to seasonal sales. It is not a book that will solely be sold in the month of December. This is an excellent thing. Why is that the case? I've already informed you another vital aspect is the number of reviews. Let's check if we remove, for instance, can you put all of them, huh? If alternatively we wish to analyze it once, we can observe how this book, since its release, has begun to generate profits and consequently receive reviews that, based on the quantity, are not even particularly fabricated. Certainly there is some manipulation, but a book that has been available for three months, for two months what it is, does not have such a large number of reviews to suggest anything fraudulent, let us say. I had a desire to witness something different. At what point in time did the reviews commence coming in and providing feedback? When did the book start selling? Why? Because selling more copies makes it easier for social proof to start coming in. As you can observe, as it remains stable, similar to BSR, its review chart started to grow and show an upward trend in terms of reviews. And that is how the book is constructing its reputation. Which specific book is it that I must not forget about? Ah, okay, perfect. By the way, I don't even know if it's from a self-publisher. Let's go see it. Yes, Eddie and Sell Publish, as you can see, it was published on October 23rd, so it's a recently published book. Let us observe to check if there is something older. So, let's see with an older book in order to have a chart that I can show you in a more effective manner. This book on the market for a while should have a more interesting layout. It's been four years since its release. We are awaiting the loading of our nice little graph. Here it is. In each and every operation, it is consistently very slow. Personally, I do not have a liking for this particular thing at all. However, let's place our trust in him and observe what unfolds. Okay, perfect. So if we decide on the time frame of a year, we didn't make an unreasonable demand. We simply asked you to make the transition to the year. Okay. Can we determine when these spikes occur in the data set? On the contrary, let's do it like this. Look, I will show you on all time. So I can show you, for example, all of December. So in December, we have a BSR of 81,000, 193,000 was published on the 23rd. In a short span of time, the BSR started to drop until we reached the present moment. The value in December was 80,000, but it decreased to 700 and continued to decline further, ultimately reaching even lower levels. The time period mentioned here, which had the highest sales, of course, amounted to approximately 230 units, occurring between the months of late November and December. Let us also take a look at the six months. I will show you his past December if he shows it to us. Okay, we can discuss it further then. It has consistently been low. You see, this is a book that sells exceptionally well. Exceptionally well. Let's determine when they cease shipping. It has not even been impacted by the shipping halt. Its reviews continue to increase. Currently, it has a substantial amount. There will be approximately eight to 10,000. Let's ascertain how many copies it has sold so far and analyze its success in detail. There are a total of 8,000 reviews, but as I was saying, this chart allows you to understand the seasonality of a book and how its popularity changes over time. That being said, guys, I don't know if I should recommend it to you or not, but I definitely suggest trying the free version in order to draw your own conclusions. 
I become more and more attached to Leontem because it allows us to do many more things. However, I repeat, for those who want to start, in my opinion, it could be a good opportunity to start understanding how to move within the charts. That's all for tonight. If you liked the video, thumbs up. If you didn't like it, unfortunately, nothing. See you in the next video. Bye everyone.